Woman in Engineering by Mary Wasinger. Who builds bridges? Building a bridge is a balancing act. It takes many people, lots of equipment, and a talented engineer to put it all together. This is the Brooklyn Bridge, completed in 1883. Emily Warren Roebling didn't set out to be an engineer. She lived in a time when women were discouraged from doing things like expressing opinions and having careers. Emily did both when she helped build the Brooklyn Bridge. It wasn't easy. The suspension bridge was over a mile long, making it the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time. Emily took on the role of chief engineer in a place of her husband who had become too sick to do the job. She oversaw bridge construction for more than 10 years, from managing workers to coordinating supplies. She wore a skirt and a peacoat because women of the time weren't allowed to wear pants. Construction can be dangerous work, especially without the right clothes. But that didn't stop her from visiting the site. When Emily and her team of workers finally finished a bridge, she rode across it in a carriage. She carried a rooster, a symbol of victory at the time, to celebrate her success. Emily's engineering work still matters today. Hundreds of thousands of people cross the Brooklyn Bridge every week. What is engineering? At its heart, Engineering is solving problems. To do this, engineers use science, math, design, creative thinking, and persistence. Engineers do many different types of work, from building bridges to solving health problems. They also create and improve things that we use every single day. Things we use every day? Like what? like the clothes you're in right now. When Hong de Po was born in the 13th century, making cotton cloth was very difficult. Life was also hard in Hong de Po's town, Songjin. The soil couldn't grow crops and many township people struggled to get enough food. In her teens, Hong de Po ran away and hid on a boat. She journeyed to an island off the coast of China there, she learned about cotton and sewing. When Hong de Po returned in Songjing as an adult, she used her knowledge to help the town. She created a machine to clean raw cotton quickly and built a spinning wheel that could spin many threads at once. She invented these revolutionary machines 500 years before anyone else figured out how to make them. Her town became known for weaving beautiful cotton fabrics, quilts, and mattresses. Hong de Pao's inventions brought jobs and security to many people. So engineers are inventors? Engineers have been inventing for thousands of years. Mary the Prophets lived in Egypt nearly 2,000 years ago and she loved experimenting with metals, liquids, and laboratory equipment. But the tools of the time were not advanced enough for her big ideas, so Mary invented her own. Like the tribicos. Her inventions were important for alchemy, an early study of the natural world that led to modern chemistry. Mary's most famous invention is still used today, the heated water bath. This technology allows scientists to run experiments, help factories produce food, and it also used in wastewater plants. People even use heated water baths at home to soften wax for candles, melt chocolates for desserts, and slowly cook things like tasty cheesecakes. This invention is still called the Bain Marie, meaning Mary's bath.
What else do engineers do? What else do engineers do? Engineers think creatively. When movie star Hedy Lamar wasn't making films, she worked on projects in her laboratory. She had lots of ideas for inventions and experiments, such as making tablets that turned water into soda. Hedy also created designs for more aerodynamic airplane, based on the smooth shape of fast birds and fish. She even kept a small laboratory in her onset trailer so she could work between scenes. Then, Hedy learned that important radio messages sent during World War II were being blocked. It wasn't long before she came up with an idea for a secret communication device. Her device could send the radio messages hopping around to different frequencies, making them impossible to find and jam. She and a friend developed and patented the device, but most people laughed it off. Still determined to help, Hedy used her fame to raise millions of dollars for the war effort. Later, her, her, later, her ideal for frequency hopping was used when creating technologies like cell phones, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and even military communications. Hedy's work is especially important since we use these technologies in our daily lives and to help us solve problems. What other kind of problems can engineering solve? Problems like climate change. Sandra Kaufman has worked in NASA for many years, helping to design, build, and launch equipment to study Earth, our sun, the solar system, and the universe. The information she gathers help us discover how the universe works and even find other planets similar to Earth. Many of her projects also help us understand our planet and its changing climates so we can develop technology to solve problems facing our future. If you check the weather lately, the forecast probably came from a satellite that Sandra helped develop. Satellites monitor Earth and send back information about the temperatures, ice caps, coral reefs, and even mosquitoes. That data can be used for forecasts and emergency alerts, saving many lives. Sandra also worked on the Hubble Space Telescope, first service and mission, and helped lead a team that sent a spacecraft to study the atmosphere of Mars. Missions to save space are complicated and take many years of preparation. Sandra coordinates their many engineers, scientists, and specialists who work together to give us a glimpse into outer space. Where do engineers get their inspiration? Engineers get inspiration from just about anywhere. Sandra was inspired by watching the moon landing when she was seven years old. Dr. Treven Livingston was inspired by working in a lab that helped people with injuries. She became a biomedical engineer, or as she says, an engineer of the body. On her mission to use engineering to help people with illness and disabilities, Dr. Trina had made some amazing medical discoveries. Hoping to help bones heal, Dr. Trina found a way to transplant adult stem cells, powerful cells that don't have a job yet, into the body, but to heal severe injuries and disabilities. Dr. Trina knew a structure was needed to help the cells grow. After many experiments in our laboratory, she discovered that she could build a structure for growing bone cells out of a material called calcium phosphate. These kinds of structures are known as biomaterials, and they're placed in the body to help with healing. Dr. Trina Body Materials also encourages new cells to grow, improving the way the body heals itself. Dr. Trina had received many awards for her discoveries. 
Her work with biomaterials could one day help people paralyzed by spinal cord injuries be able to walk again. Engineers can do so many different things. Is there one thing they all do? All engineers use the most powerful tool, imagination. They have an idea and strive to make it happen. When faced with challenges, they problem solve them again and again until they achieve their goals. It's not so different from when you use your imagination to tell a story, draw a picture, or do an experiment. When you think creatively, you solve a problem when you are using the skills of an engineer. Engineers bring dreams into the world. They build bridges from imagination to reality. The End